Hey folks, it's Dominique here at DomDrives.com and today we're doing a quick video tutorial of how to use the Sync 3 system. So it's going to go over how to connect our phone via Bluetooth, going through our entertainment options, Bluetooth stereo, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, and our CD player as well as uh, auxiliary and USB plug-in, going through our climate control functions and our Sync 3 settings. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, stay tuned. We'll also have another video for uh, using the Sync 3 navigation system and Sync 3 voice activated commands. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact me at uh, www.domdrives.com or Dominique, that's D-O-M-I-N-I-Q-U-E at domdrives.com or 253 Four seven four zero five one one. I hope this helps for everyone out there as well as um, new customers. We appreciate you begin, uh, becoming a part of our Lakewood 4 family. Thanks a bunch, folks. All right, folks, so here we have the opening menu screen for the Sync 3 communications and entertainment system. So down below we have the five different categories in which we'll be able to access separate menu options. So we have our audio here, our climate control options, phone, apps for AppLink in which you can see another video on my YouTube channel here showing how to use Sync 3's AppLink and then also our vehicle settings, our Sync 3 settings here. So one of the first things that we want to be able to do is obviously connect our phone via Bluetooth. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our Bluetooth on on the cellular device, at which point we're going to go to our settings in our phone or whatever phone it is that you have and get to your Bluetooth menu option to where you're able to see what Bluetooth uh, menu options are available. At which point I'm going to go add device here. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. So she's prompted me to search for sync on my device and select sync once it's found. So I'm searching on my phone now just waiting for sync to come up here and I see sync is there well not quite there it's popping up here in a moment so I've selected sync on my phone and once I've selected Confirm sync on my phone display as you can see here the pin displayed on your device so yes the 083859 is showing on my phone which is also showing here on the sync screen so I'm gonna press yes here and I'm also gonna select pair on my phone. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. So now we have two options. First and foremost, up top, our 911 assist, which is a great free service. So in the event of an accident, let's say that you are in an accident, um, the 911 assist will alert the paramedics as to what type of accident you were in, front, side, or rear collision, how many airbags were deployed, and how many occupants were in that vehicle. You benefit to this by having the resources that you need for your specific incident available to you quicker and faster. Secondly, auto download the phone book contacts. Now that's critical obviously for voice activated commands. So should we like to call someone that's saved in our phone book, we'd like to do so by the name in which they're saved in the phone book and having that downloaded onto the Sync 3 system helps a bunch. So we're gonna go finish there. And now we see our full menu option for the phones. So we have our recent call list which will show our incoming, outgoing, and our missed calls. It was currently downloading there. We have our do not disturb function. So our do not disturb is if we have multiple passengers in the vehicle and we receive a phone call and we would like for the phone call received not to interrupt, we're gonna go ahead and ignore that, not to interrupt the music playing or the conversation that's free flowing, the do not disturb will go directly to the device as opposed to through the system. Obviously our contacts here, that is our phone contact saved um, from our phone, downloaded through the system. Siri, which is really awesome. So previously in the My4 Touch, you didn't have the ability to have Siri dictate your text messages through the system, um, uh, through the speaker system, and also for your navigation for the turn-by-turn -turn directions. We now have that option, and as well as text messages down below here where Siri will read our text messages and then our phone keypad. So I'm gonna go back to audio. And we were talking briefly uh, previously about, about the phone. So let's say I had uh, some music on my phone and I wanted to play it wirelessly through the system. So I'm pulling up Pandora on my current device here. Taking a little bit to load here. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna go to sources here. 
So now I'll be able to select Bluetooth stereo, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, or the CD player. So if I go to Bluetooth stereo, I'd be able to play my music wirelessly from my phone through the system here. So let me see if I've got some music on this secondary phone here. which it doesn't seem like I do, so we won't be able to get any music playing from the phone, but if you're playing any music, regardless of the streaming platform, just select the Bluetooth stereo option, and that is gonna give you the ability to be able to play your music wirelessly through your phone to the system. So then we have our AM radio, and again, and our FM radio as well. So let's say we had a radio station and we wanted to have that radio station as one of our favorites here. So I'm just gonna go to Cube, well not Cube 93, it used to be Cube 93. So let's say I'd like to create that as a preset. I'm gonna go to back to Cube 93, I'm um, see not Cube 93, 93.3. And then I'm gonna select here, hold, and now it's saved as a preset there, okay? So then we also have the option to direct tune up top. So if I had 107.9, enter, bam, I can get directly to that station without having to scroll or um, you know seek from channel to channel. So then we have our climate control functions where I can control my driver temperature and my passenger temperature here. Now if I press the dual button up top there, I no longer have the ability as the passenger to control my own temperature. But the moment the passenger adjusts their temperature, the dual is automatically on. Here's our fan to where it is shared throughout the vehicle. And then our AC settings of max AC, AC, vehicle circulation, and closing out of that menu. And then finally here we're gonna go to our vehicle settings to where we're able to adjust our sound settings here. So our treble, mid-range, and bass, and then our balance and fade to where we can adjust the fade or the balance right there, or I can just reset to the factory standard there. And then I have my speed adaptive volume. So the faster I go, the lower the volume is, and obviously that's an aid for me to focus more on what I'm doing as I've increased my speed. So then I'm gonna scroll down a little more and I can see my occupancy mode. So I want either all seats if I'm in a family vehicle and I want everyone to enjoy the music or podcasts or any sort of entertainment that we're enjoying, or I can just select the driver to where the music is going to play more focus on the driver there. I'm gonna go back and reset all there. Then we have our clock here, and this is where we're gonna be able to adjust um, our time. We can also have our clock format going 12 hour or 24 hour military time, and I can also reset the clock for GPS time. Then we have our radio settings here, so I have my FM HD radio on, which is gonna be a more clearer um, sound source for our FM radio. Our radio text is going to uh, show us what music is playing on that given radio station. And then the auto presets, which will refresh constantly, bam, for um, searching for my automatic presets if I'm in a area that I am not receiving typical radio stations on that are normally in my area. Once I get back into my given area, by searching for that refresh option, it's going to automatically preset my original presets. Excuse me. Then we have our Bluetooth settings here. This is where we're going to be able to view all devices there. I can add additional devices, set certain devices as favorites or secondaries, and then I can turn the Bluetooth function off. Down below here we have our general settings so we can go through our language, our distance, whether we want it miles or our kilo, uh, kilometers, temperature, Fahrenheit or Celsius, touchscreen beep, do I want that on or off, the automatic sync updates, that's going to be the sync is going to, sync system is going to say a new update is available, would you like for it to update? And then we have our about information here, um, showing you what version of the Sync 3 system that you're using. And then your software license is there and the website where you can find that information. And obviously our master reset. So then I'm gonna go back to my phone here to where I can view my devices, manage my contacts, I can set different ringtones, my text message notifications, and then I have the option to have the mute audio when I'm in privacy mode. A roaming warning, obviously we're gonna to wanna to have that on in the event that I'm roaming, I'd like to have the warning so as not to get unnecessary charges without my permission, and then the low battery notification, which is another great feature. So our voice control here is in 
basic mode now, there's an advanced mode because obviously the Sync 3 system is much more enhanced in terms of its voice recognition. And we'll have another video going over how to use the Sync 3 commands. Uh, the phone confirmation every time I get in the vehicle to let me know that my Bluetooth is connected. And then the voice command list. When I'm making a voice command, it will give me a list of verbal commands that are available with the system there. So then we'll slide one more over here, our 911 assist. Again, do we want it on or off? And then we can set some emergency contacts there. And then we have our Wi-Fi to where I can connect to available Wi-Fi networks. So right outside here, we're searching for Wi-Fi available networks, text only. And if I were a little bit closer to the, view, uh, the building here, I'd be able to see Lakewood Ford and I can connect to it. And it'll also let me know when there's available Wi-Fi near me. My vehicle settings here for my camera, my rear view camera display. Um, do I want the camera delay on or off? The camera delay is when I put the vehicle back into drive, it's still going to show me for, I believe it's five to 10 seconds, what's going on behind me as well before it goes back to the main Sync 3 system. My display mode there for the brightness and then the mode, I can have it on auto, day, night, or off. We're gonna wanna leave that on auto just because at nighttime it'll automatically dim to a lower brightness and then the daytime it'll increase that brightness based on the light that's going on around us and in our valet mode to where I can enter a four digit pin in which if I have the navigation equipped with the vehicle, if it's got some personalized information that I don't want shared to you know, strangers, the valet mode will um, limit the amount of functions available um, to that person that's in the vehicle that is a stranger. So I hope this helps here. We'll go back home up top. I hope this helped out for all of my new customers. Welcome to the Lakewood Ford family. And for all of those out on the land of the internet looking for some additional Sync 3 information. Um, for more info, please visit www.domdrives.com. And we'll have another video posted shortly for how to use the navigation for the Sync 3 system and going through our voice activated commands. Thank you guys so much for viewing. We appreciate you very much. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.